China has witnessed stunning growth over the last few decades and has grown into the second largest economy in the world. Yet China remains a middle-income country and has failed to turn into a high-income country for quite some time now. In fact, 500 million Chinese citizens still live on less than $2 a day in China. And it seems that China is going to stay stuck in the middle income trap. Chinese laborers are often made to work overtime without being paid for it. Unhealthy working conditions in Chinese factories are leading to widespread dissatisfaction. Now, the Chinese people are defiantly adopting minimalism because they simply don't want to work themselves to the bone. They are also spending less because there's no guarantee what could hit the Chinese economy under Xi Jinping. And this has left the CCP in a really big mess. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Shubhangi and in this video I will tell you how China is racing towards the middle income trap due to the lying flat campaign. Let's begin. Chinese President Xi Jinping articulated an alert on October 15. As per the Chinese Communist Party's flagship journal on political theory, Chu Xi, Xi said, It is necessary to prevent the stagnation of the social class, unblock the channels of upward social mobility, create opportunities for more people to become rich, and form an environment for improvement in which everyone participates, avoiding involution and lying flat. This was probably the first time that Xi talked about lying flat or what is called Tangping in China, a movement that involves lying down and doing absolutely nothing. Lying flat has gained traction amongst Chinese youth as a symbol of protest against the brutal 996 work culture in China that involves working from 9am to 9pm six days a week. However, the lying flat campaign is now pushing China deeper into a middle-income trap. The term middle-income trap is a broad reference to the phenomenon in which countries experience rapid growth and quickly reach the status of a middle-income country, but start stagnating after that and fail to catch up with higher-income economies and get trapped in the middle-income zone. China itself is at the risk of getting stuck in the middle-income trap. The World Bank considers an economy with a per capita income between $1,000 and $12,235 to be a middle-income country. China has been in this category for almost 29 years now. What China's prolonged journey as a middle-income country means is that it may never be able to cross the threshold beyond which it can be labeled as an upper-income country. Time is running out for China, as other high-income Asian economies like South Korea, Taiwan and Singapore had spent 23, 27 and 29 years as middle-income countries respectively before taking a leap and becoming high-income countries. In 2020, China's per capita income was $10,484 and therefore the country needs to pick up growth quickly to escape the middle-income trap it finds itself in. When Xi Jinping spoke about lying flat, he seemed to suggest that the movement strikes at the very core of his Chinese dream ideology, which he describes as the quote-unquote great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Chinese experts, however, fear that the lying flat campaign could throw China deeper into a middle-income trap. Dr. Gavin Shin Hu Chu, an independent commentator and former associate professor at Shenzhen University, has been quoted by SCMP as saying, If it, that is lying flat, becomes widespread, it will affect young people's expectations of income growth, consumption, marriage and childbirth, which will be detrimental to China's ability to avoid the middle income trap, where growth stagnates and incomes stall. Chu added, China is now at a crossroads of becoming a high-income economy or finding itself stuck in the middle-income trap. The lying flat movement would negatively affect China's efforts to escape the middle-income trap. Xi Jinping understands that if Chinese youth stop working, then there will not be a rise in overall national income and China will stay where it is, a middle-income zone. In the third quarter of the ongoing financial year, Chinese economic growth slowed down to 4.9% due to the ongoing real estate crisis, power shortages and weak consumer demand. However, the lying flat campaign, which is speaking in terms of its popularity, also has a role to play. So the lying flat campaign is already holding back Chinese growth. 
The Chu Shi article quoted Xi Jinping as saying, Only by promoting common prosperity, increasing the income of urban and rural residents, and improving human capital can we increase overall productivity and consolidate the foundations for high quality development. Xi Jinping is rebuking Chinese youngsters for adopting a minimalist lifestyle. The campaign had originated after a young Chinese man, Luo Hachong, wrote a post on Baidu Tieba's social media platform titled Lying Flat is Justice. It explained how he embraced minimalism for the past two years. Luo said, Life is just lying down, lying down, and lying down. In media interviews, Luo said, When I say lying flat, I don't mean that I just lie down every day and don't do anything. Lying flat is a state of mind. That is, I feel that many things are not worthy of my attention and energy. Soon, the Lying Flat campaign spread like wildfire in China, with youth embracing the individualist campaign. It allowed them to think of their own needs instead of working in animalistic conditions to raise national income just to meet the Chinese Communist Party's ambitious goals. China is using its great firewall and heavy censorship to curb the Lying Flat campaign. Luo's original post itself was targeted, but its copies quickly spread on the internet and the Chinese youth seems to pick up the idea well. Chinese communist hardliners are slamming the movement. Hu Shijin, editor-in-chief of the CCP mouthpiece Global Times said, Young people are the hope of this country. Neither they themselves nor the country will allow them to collectively lie flat. State-backed media outlet Nangfang Daily too called the movement shameful. But here is the real thing. If average Chinese youngsters don't want to waste their youth working 12 hours every day for six days a week only to earn higher incomes, the CCP can't force them to aim to earn more. Lying flat is a campaign that can't be cracked down upon and much to the chagrin of the CCP, it is throwing China into the middle-income trap for eternity.